morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wow, welcome again to this episode of Arise, coming to you live from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, the King's Palace Studios. We're here at 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas. Wow, wow, wow. It is a great day. Are you so excited to be in the, to be alive today? Can you imagine we are already in February? Not just that, we're almost halfway through the month already. Wow, where is this month and where is this year going to? But you know what? God has been so good to us. God has been so good. Has it not been good to you? You know that. You can testify to that. You know, our, our word for the day, you know, don't forget that. Romans 8 verse 31. Romans 8 verse 31. What does it say? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for you, who can be against you? Nobody. It doesn't matter what's going on. I know there's so much going on right now in the economy, the inflation, you know, the unrest all around us, the gas prices, the food prices, everything. But if God is for us, who can be against us? It's a great day. If you're going to be in church, don't forget we have two services today. Um, if you're living in the city of Katy or around the Houston environs, please, 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 you have, you have about like 30 minutes or so to be in church. Our first service is at 9 a.m. And the second service is at 10 um, a.m. We've got a good one for you today. We have, you know, the gist of the day. I, I won't let the cat out of the back here, but, you know, it's regarding the health. You know, with the health ministry here, they're doing so many awesome things. We'll come about that later on. Don't also forget, at the King's Palace, we treasure and we value our children. And so we're going to be having for the spring break coming up in March, there's going to be a trip that kids are having a children's retreat into one of these really great retreat area grounds called Camp Choe. For more information, please visit us online or call the church office to get more information about that. Also, again on the children, there's going to be a lot of great trips coming up this year in the summertime. Guess where we're going? Yeah, that's right. We're going to Cancun, Cancun, Mexico. You do not want to miss that. Your children will be so, so excited. They'll create so many great memories. So please contact us at the King's Palace for more information on how you can register and be a part of that. Again, stay tuned. We've got a great one for you today. Remember, if God is for you, who can be against you? I'll be right back. Thank you. typically comes with renewed hope encouraging many people to set new goals yes it is important to set goals however it is more important to ensure that they align with God's will for your life have you asked the Lord about his plans for you this year have you waited on him to know what exactly he will have you pursue this year as you start right never neglect the lamp the lamp is the light. The lamp is the light. Bible says, His word is a lamp unto my feet. So that word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. To listen to the concluding part of this message and other inspiring messages, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at King's Palace TV and follow our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You are also invited to join us this Sunday virtually via YouTube and Facebook or physically at 5371 East 5th Street, Katy, Texas 77493. Our first service, Hour of Power, is at 9 a.m. And our second service, Glory to Glory, is at 10 a.m. We are waiting to welcome you. Good morning, brethren, wherever you are. Whether you're in Canada, Nigeria, all over the world, I want to say good morning. God bless you. It's a pleasure to come your way. It's always a thing of joy. First and foremost, I want to thank God for this privilege and the opportunity 
to be here this morning. And of course, I want to appreciate the Arise team for a wonderful, great, and awesome job they're doing. Quickly, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. Thank you because the entrance of your word gives life and understanding. As we look into the perfect law of liberty, we ask that, Lord, and we continue therein, may we be blessed. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. Holy Spirit, we pray that you speak through me. Make my tongue like the pen of the ready writer. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Praise the Lord. This morning, brethren, I want to share with us on what thinkest thou? What, what thinkest thou? What do you think? Like we all know, the theme for the month is vision. And the overall theme for the year is perfection. When I began to meditate on what I was going to say or to share with us this morning, it just suddenly occurred to me that there is a relationship between vision, perfection, and our thought process. The thought process or the vision is bathed in our thought process. Perfection is bathed in our thought process. Then wonder the Bible says in Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, Daniel said, the Bible says, and Daniel proposed in his heart not to defile himself with the king's meat. And of course, vision is what the thought or thinking is what gives birth to vision. Everything you ever think you want to do comes from the heart. And that's why, because Apostle Paul understood the incredible power of thoughts, he began to encourage us. You know, the world today is laden with all kinds of calamity. Tragedies all over the world. Syria, Turkey, earthquake. You know, you talk of flood, you talk of hurricane, inflation, people losing their jobs, markets, I mean, the, the, the stock market coming down. All kinds of things are going on. And it is sufficient to break one's heart. But we have solace and consolation in the word of God. Paul gave us, you know, in Philippians 4, verse 8. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. A cursory look at that Bible passage is an inventory that Paul has given to us concerning the virtues that should envelop our mind, the things we need to dwell on. We don't need to dwell on inflation. We don't need to dwell on what the economy is saying. I know the tendency, the propensity to dwell on, the, on those things are there. I'll read quickly. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. There is an incredible power in what you think about. A man can only become what he thinks about. You know, you cannot rise above your thought process. The Bible says that out of the heart proceeds the issues of life. Because, and that is why we need to guide our heart with all diligence. And I'm just going to pick on one of the virtues. The power of pure thinking. Pure thinking is imperative what we need to think. How can we keep our thought process pure? How can we constantly dwell on what is pure? How can we dwell on what is true? What is right? What is just? What is lovely? What is of excellence? Number one, I call it word therapy, the word of God. Meditation, reading, and memorizing. It is very important that we must constantly feed our heart with the word because that is the only thing that will make us overcome the negativities around us. Word therapy. Engage your heart in the word. Study the word. Be in fellowship. Make sure you don't abstain yourself from any fellowship. That is one thing that you can do. Number two, you know, of course, in that number one, you can see what the Bible makes us to understand that in Psalm 119 verse 9, how can a young man keep his way pure? By diligently giving his heart to the word of God. And of course, that's Psalm 119 verse 11. He said, my word have I hidden in, my, in thy heart. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. It's very, very important, brethren, because the tendency to stray away is always there. Number two, we must take captive of our thought process. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, verse 10, from verse 4, 
He said, of course, he said, though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carried by mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, and every high thing that exalts himself above the knowledge of God, and bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ. It's very, very important. Take your thought process. Take it captive. Filter what comes into your mind, even as you listen to the news, and engage your mind in God's word. I know with a few of these, they may not be conclusive, but they are ample enough to help us, even as we focus on Jesus. Thank you, and God bless you. It's Family Week 2023 at the Redeemed Christian Church of God the King's Palace, beginning with Family Banquet on Valentine's Day, February 14, 2023, at 6 p.m. at the Pavilion. All generations in the church are invited to Family Banquet, a night full of relaxation, fun, fellowship, and food. On Wednesday, the children and the teenagers shall take to the sports arena at 6 p.m. with dads, moms and everyone having a great time at the sports arena. We are back in Sanctuary on Thursday for a four-day power conference beginning with Shiloh Hour at 7 p.m. on Thursday 16th and a power night on Friday 17th of February 2023. The marriage class is virtual and scheduled for 12 noon on Saturday, February 18th. The grand finale is on Sunday, February 19th at 9 a.m. for the first service and 10 a.m. for the second service. The Lord is set to make a way in the wilderness and make rivers flow in the deserts as all the families at the King's Palace come together in fellowship and prayers with messages from the throne of God. All events will be streaming live on our social media platforms. Gather all the members of your family for a divine encounter. Ministering is Pastor Tunde Bathru and other anointed servants of God. Host pastors are Pastors Tunde and Shadi Bathru. Jesus is Lord. Welcome, welcome back again to TKP Arise. Come to you live from the King's Palace Studios. And before we get into our next segment, real quick, what's coming up on the 14th? Valentine's Day. And guess what? Yeah, so you're not going to be left out. Here at TKP, we have a family banquet. Yes, on Tuesday. Please do register. Go onto the website or call the church office at Fitzgerald Online for more information. Now, to our gist of the day, I have with me some really, really special, special ladies with me here. I have with me here Sister Musu Ogunyi, and I have also Sister Yetunde Thomas, and they are from the King's Palace health ministry welcome welcome ladies welcome wow so tell us a little bit now um wh what is the health ministry about uh well the health ministry just as the name um, implies is mm -hmm. a group of uh, professional individuals that come together to provide um information mm -hmm. to help with the well-being of you know um the members the community we can uh, we provide um information to keep the health the emotional, the mental, the physical being of all its members and make sure everything is working together with the spiritual life. That, that, that is so, so important. Right? I like how you mentioned like not just the physical part of it, but also like your spiritual part, your emotional, your mental health being. So um, can you tell us a little bit, um, um, I don't know, what are some of the activities that go on with the health ministry? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. We have activities we... Uh, Every month, there is a food service program that we have people in the community, they come around to, we share food. And we have a section there where the health member will be there, uh, the health team will be there, we screen everyone for their blood sugar, we screen them for their blood pressure, and we give them resources where they can go to get help. Uh, also, we are involved in the health mission. We go to foreign countries. Uh, this year is going to be in Brazil. The health mm -hmm. care team will be well represented. We'll go there. we we'll deliver health services. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. You know, I know some people say, oh, I don't have insurance. I don't have money. But you heard it right here. You don't have any excuses anymore. So can you tell us a little bit, like, so who can be part of the, the health team? Or how can someone become a part of the health ministry here? 
Well, with the health ministry, we have um, different people who are specialized in different things. Mm -hmm. So we have the doctors, the nurses, the physical therapists, the occupational therapists, wow. the respiratory therapists, dentists, opticians, everybody. We have a lot of psych MPs. Wow. So everyone who is licensed to practice in the United States wow. is welcome to join. Wow. CNAs, LVNs, everyone. Wow, wow, wow. That is so, so, so amazing. Now, um, excuse me, I don't even know much about health. So for someone like me who is like a layman, right, can, can non-health practitioners um, be part of the ministry? Yes, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are calling it out on everybody. We need donors, mm -hmm. people that can donate. We, there's a lot of needs in the healthcare department. Mm -hmm. We need to buy all this ECG machine, blood, uh, blood pressure monitoring machines, glucometers, you know, medications, because, you know, anything can happen at any time. You know, mm -hmm. we're looking after the you know, health care of, of the community at large and the church. Uh, you have little headache in church. You see anybody wearing this vest that mm. I'm holding? There you go. Please. Just show it. Yeah. So can see it very well. Yeah. Wow. Please, uh, go to them, ask questions, and uh, ask anything for anything. Tell them whatever you, you, you have. They are going to at least provide you for, with the first aid. And we need influencers. There are people that can connect us to resources. Mm. We have uh, people working in the hospital. They can bring their machine to, you know, whenever we have events, events that, like, um, in April, the church anniversary is coming up. Mm -hmm. They are going to bring health screening machines. Everybody in the community will be screened, and you know everybody's health will be well looked after. Wow, wow, that is so amazing. So you know, you really don't have any excuses, right? You can say, "I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a." is you know therapist this and is but you know what you've heard it right here there's so many opportunities you know, jesus said that when i was sick you know you comforted me and you might ask oh how did i do that well you heard it here so many ways to plug in so any final words any final thoughts that you want to leave with our viewers today well yes so um i want to tell everybody to know in this department we're so big on confidentiality so whenever you have any issues, if you need resources, we'll be happy to provide. You don't have health insurance. We, we know where, um, where you can go to for your health care needs. You need, any, um, you need medication. We know where you can get to for cheap medications. Whatever you need, please just reach out to us. and I'll be more than happy to help you. And, um, and also, even for pediatrics, maybe you come, maybe you're pregnant women, and you don't know where to go to, please, I don't have insurance, not an excuse. And also, every um, second Saturdays, we'll be having our health care fair where we'll be putting out videos there. Today, we're going to be talking about heart attack. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you resources. Just stay tuned, and you're going to see the video on heart wow. attack. Thank you so much again. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Like she said, there's a video coming up right after this. And if you're in church, after the second service, you can stop by um, for the health booth for more information. Again, we'll leave you with the video, and have a great Sunday ahead.